you in a dark place, you don't see a light. But when you reach a peak in your life, now you're in a place where you see a whole different world. All these mountains call your name. I'm Lonnie Kalk, born and raised in Yosemite Valley. Our ancestors lived here for thousands of years, and we're still here today. They gave us some deep roots. Go, man, heavy. To this place right here. You know, my dad, he's like old superhero. <laughs> his name, Ron Kalk. One of the greatest mountain climbers. Growing up, Lonnie knew he's not going to fill his dad's shoes. So I just did my own thing. He proved he could forge his own way, and now it's time to circle back. Climbing, that's like written in my DNA. He's trying to do his dad's hardest routes to make that connection. That's how you do it. This is tradition. I'll pass all the levels, and then one day, magic line. Unrepeated for 20 years. Oh, ah! It's so freaking hard. You have to fight through these battles with yourself. You are Lonnie, and you know what you want to do it comes from your heart. In 1991, Action Direct was the artist's route in the world. A new great, a future. All the best climbers tried. Some did it, but only men. I had the opinion that no woman could do that jump. So the challenge started there. It's violent, aggressive. I had to retrain my body for this route. You analyze everything in the microscope to find the clue. I love that process. But I never saw it take me six years to climb Action Direct. When I imagined climbing in Mongolia, I thought of two best friends questing across this step, looking for perfect granite really with endless possibilities for first ascents. You go for them. But it turned out to be a bit more complicated. Oh my god, I hate this. It's a fine line between badass. Are we going down that? Dumbass. Oh, oh no. Shit. no. Hazel brings out that adventurous side of me, <laughs> which I think it really like. It's amazing putting up hard first ascents. Come on, come on, keep fighting. Even if nobody climbs them again. First ascent, last ascent. Why everything that's bad got the name black? Black ice. How you know it's black? <laughs> it looked clear to me. <laughs> Maybe if y'all didn't paint the streets black, it wouldn't be black. <laughs> Maybe if they had an opportunity to be on top of the snow. I am about to tell you a story. Memphis is a hard ass, beautiful place. Pressure make diamonds. I got shot while I'm 17. I can't raise my left hand. Rock climbing, you experience this confidence. We all got excited about getting people from Memphis to Montana to go ice climbing. Ice climbing? That sounds whole. Conrad, how you feeling? The start to a great adventure. Out here surviving. <sighs> Manoa, he's a real deal. Like, if I see him do it, I can do it. It's our thing now. Like, we ice climb now. Manoa! Oh, I know some of you climber bros may be wondering, will they survive in these temperatures? Oh! Will they send these wraps? Oh, oh. Damn. And the only thing that I have to say is, man, what the fuck do you think? We from South Memphis. Questing out into the unknown, discovering your own path. You have to ask yourself, are you strong enough? Just don't give up, even if it feels far away. It takes being uncomfortable to go through the transition. In a fucked up cocoon right now, but come out of butterfly. It's all gonna come together. Good. Maybe it's time now. 